Chrissy Hind, originally from Akron, Ohio, spent most of the 70s desperately trying to get a band together in London. After short stints in interestingly named outfits like Masters of the Backside and the Moors Murderers, she finally scored a manager in 1978, who helped her put together the original lineup of The Pretenders, with Pete Farnden on bass and James Honeyman Scott on guitar. Thirty years later, she faced the unenviable task of compiling a box set of her favourites called Pirate Radio. You know, the, the Pretenders really has been a rock band, and I think the stuff that has been on the radio has been the more poppy, you know, mid-tempo stuff, which is nice too, but, you know, I wanted to represent us for what, you know, the spirit of the band, which was more rock. Although the band has kept the same name for three decades, the Pretenders have seen numerous lineup changes, largely due to the tragic deaths of both Pete and James through drugs overdoses. No, I never thought the Pretenders could exist uh, outside of me and Pete and Jimmy and Martin, the original Pretenders. If one of us left the band, I thought we'd have to change the name and, and start all over. And then when Pete and Jimmy uh, both uh, OD'd on drugs within the space of a year of each other, and, you know, it got all, um, you know, a lot of events which we hadn't anticipated came very quickly, and I... Well, how can I say this is that without sounding really crap? But yeah, I really kept the thing going as a tribute to, to the band, and also I was, you know, I think in retrospect quite traumatized by the way things had had gone. Turning the trauma into inspiration, Chrissy went on to write and record a catalogue of rock and pop classics, such as "Him to Her," "Don't Get Me Wrong," "Back on the Chain Gang," and "I'll Stand by You." Alongside her musical career, which has included collaborations with other artists and contributing to soundtracks, Chrissy has also become an avid animal rights activist and regularly turns out in support of anti-cruelty campaign organization PETA. However, when it's time to strap on that Fender Telecaster, all she wants to do is rock. I'm not trying to <clears throat> say anything. You really play guitar in a rock band because it's, you know, it's, it's more fun than being a waitress. That's all it was for me. I don't think I broke any ground or did anything different. Well, I know I haven't. <laughs>